So Uniqlo, the global clothing company based out of Japan, has just officially announced its new lineup of cycling t-shirts. And I thought I'd go over that in today's video and share this with you guys. This is some pretty exciting news. If you just saw my new recent job announcement video, you'll know that I just started my new job with BMC here in Japan. And I've actually got my new BMC Uniqlo t-shirt on right now. And I wanted to share this one with you guys and also there's some other ones for some other brands as well. A couple months ago I made a video with my wife when we went into a Uniqlo in Osaka and we came across all the Bianchi road bike t-shirts there. And this is kind of an expansion on that. In the past they really only had the Bianchi road bike t-shirts and now they've expanded it to four different brands. So let's go ahead and look at some of the new designs. I actually got this t-shirt a couple weeks ago before it was officially announced and I had it on kind of embargo. I wasn't allowed to share this with anyone. That was pretty exciting for me. That was the first time something like this has really happened to me. And this is one of the shirts. So each brand has two different shirt models or two different new shirt models that they have. BMC has one red one and this white one that I've also got here. So I've got one of each. Anyway, let's look at the designs of these ones and then let's go on to some of the other bicycle brands. These are really good value. In Japan, these are only about 990 yen, which is not even $10. In the last video, some people said that these were available in other countries as well, like the US. So I think the US price might be a little bit more, about $15 or so, but even then, that's a pretty good deal for a nice cycling t-shirt. You'll also notice behind me, I've got my BMC SLR01, which is actually the same bike that you see on the shirt here. And on the back of the shirt, you can see we've got the SLR01 D machine here as well. So that's pretty cool, nice little coincidence. I thought I'd put the bike in the video as well. And on the white shirt as well, you'll see we've got the T machine SLR01 in the beautiful red BMC color. White one is a bit more simplistic, there's nothing on the back, so a little bit different style design. The red one has the bike here on the chest pocket and again the bike on the back. So there's some crossovers with the other designs. The other main brands are Giant, Colnago and of course Bianchi where it all began here at Uniqlo. So first let's go into the new Giant designs. So every bike company has two different new models. The first one, let's look at the white Giant Propel shirt. So the Propel Advanced SL Zero Disc. A lot of bike companies use the acronyms SL. I'm not sure why, maybe super light or something. Yeah, pretty cool design here. Going with the blue colors, the giant blue. Pretty cool artistic style here with the blue stripes. And looks like we've got some Shimano pedals on here as well. So this one actually has no graphic on the back, so just the front. The other one is black. We've got the bike, giant logo, Propel Advanced SL01 disc. And this one also no graphic on the back bit more simplistic. Next let's go on to Colnago. Starting with the light shirt. They've got a pretty interesting design here where the seat post is going up all the way over into the shoulder. That's pretty interesting. And we've got the main brand name on the down tube and also on the fork. And nothing on the back. The other shirt they have, they went with a blue background design and blue logo and blue bike. This one actually includes the logo of the company above the bike and a different frame paint job here. This one as well, nothing on the back, but a nice, simple, clean design. In comparison to the Giant before, this is actually a rim brake model, and rim brakes are still pretty huge in Japan. I know the rest of the world has already gone on to disc for the most part. Japan is still holding on dearly to its rim brakes, but I'm hoping that wave of disc bikes on road bikes will come here to Japan pretty soon as well. And for the BMC design, they also went with the rim brakes as well. But for this model, the SLR01, there is also a disc model available. Next, let's go on to the Bianchi collection. Strangely enough, the Bianchi collection isn't showing up on the US Uniqlo website, but it's showing up on the Japanese one, so we'll go over some of those pictures there. And there's already a huge collection of Bianchi t-shirts that have been made through Uniqlo already. You can check out our older video, and there's been even more that were made before we made that video. But this one's pretty cool. It's got a nice collection of four different bicycles, and all in different colors uniquely. So usually Bianchi's known for the Celeste blue color that they have, but here they've got a couple different bikes all in different colors, yellow, orange, gray, and the Celeste blue. And doesn't look like there's anything on the back side of this one. Going on to the other shirt, this looks like it's the same style as the red BMC shirt that I have here with a close-up of the frame going into the pocket. And on the back side, we've got a big Bianchi logo on the back. That's actually pretty cool where they have the crest on there as well. 
In addition to these shirts as well, I noticed that they have a kids collection. The kids collection is limited to only Bianchi bikes and they also offer the same white design with the four bicycles on there for the kids size. And there's also two other unique different designs that weren't available in the adult sizes. The first one here is this black one with a mountain bike Bianchi with yellow tires and it says Bianchi. So that one's pretty interesting. There's also Bianchi on the shoulder for there as well. And one other kid collection, we've got the sort of celeste blue full shirt color and the frame of the bicycle mixing into the color of the background of the shirt. So I have to admit that looks pretty cool how they blended the frame in with the background of the shirt and are just using the dark colors on the frame so that you can imagine the shape of the frame and everything else and the deep wheels as well. Looks really nice. And that's the full collection of the bikes here. So again, the price is in Japan, 990 yen for the adult shirts and 790 yen for the kids shirt. So really cheap if you're buying these in Japan and most of these, if not all of them, should be available in the international Uniqlo stores as well. Some people mentioned in the last video that they were available, but other people also mentioned that they weren't available. So anyway, go check out the local Uniqlo nearby you and let me know in the comments if they are available. Which one of this new lineup do you think is best? For me, I'm obviously a bit biased. I'm going with the BMC Red. Red is one of my favorite colors. And yeah, let us know down below which one you think is best. That's gonna be it for today's video. For anyone new to the channel, if you wanna see more videos about cycling, life in Japan, be sure to click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise. Later guys.